coming up in this video. Is that a plane going down? What is that, Jake? Most scary videos don't come close to how terrifying these 30 videos are. These are the 30 most scary videos you'll ever see. Number 30, sleep paralysis. Would you be able to sleep after seeing this? This video is a re-upload shared by YouTuber Randy Stover. I was unable to track down the original source. At first, the person looks as though they were perhaps jolted awake from a nightmare. Then this happens. Something apparently paranormal is lifting them by their feet from the bed. Is this just some crazy abnormal gravitational pull? Or has something demonic entered the scene? I think this is a true case of paranormal activity. Fishing line would tear painfully into the ankles, so I don't see any other explanation for this one. Number 29, Ghost on the Stairs. These girls were just hanging out having a good time when an uninvited guest showed up to the party. YouTuber Rachie Baby 12 shares this video of what they believe is a ghost on the stairs. Watch behind them in the hallway. A figure appears but is obscured. It's like you can only vaguely see the top of its head and it's somehow pixelated. The way it moves looks unusual to me, like it's amorphous. It doesn't appear again during the remaining 45 seconds of the video. What is this thing? I feel like they're being watched, but by what though? I'm not so sure. Number 28, Moon Landing. This extreme close-up of the moon captures an unknown object floating at what appears to be mere meters over the celestial body. Alexi underscore N shares this mysterious footage with the YouTube community. Can you guess what it is? In fact, it looks like something drifts down toward the moon from the floating object. Folks in the comments have some wild theories. Are extraterrestrials refueling on the moon, as some suggest? It's possible, but I think it could also be the International Space Station. Although the ISS is only 250 miles from the Earth, while the moon is 230,000 miles. In photographs, the ISS often looks much closer to the moon than it actually is. But even if it is the ISS, that doesn't really explain the object that appears to be traveling toward the moon from it. Additionally, the uploader has CGI videos on their channel. This one isn't marked as such, but there is still the possibility this is special effects. Share what you think in the comments. I'm torn on this one. Number 27, Green Invasion. This unidentified flying object over Madrid, Spain looks like it was taken straight out of a video game. The uploading YouTube channel asked the question, what mind would design such a craft? Let's take a look. Any guesses? It looks to me like a helmet, concave and hollowed out on one side, and it keeps on spinning. Now listen closely. As it falls through the air, a high-pitched alarm is heard.
This goes on for a minute and a half until it swirls off to the right and out of sight. Some in the comments think it's a balloon, others think it's an extraterrestrial invasion. I'm on the fence about what this is, but I'm leaning towards a peek into the fourth dimension. Number 26, Middle of Nowhere. If you heard this sound in the middle of nowhere, what would you do? Instagram account Cryptid University posts this video taken at a borrowed cabin in the middle of the forest. Listen closely. I don't know about you, but I got absolute chills from this audio. Listen again. Is this a skinwalker? I think it might be. And if so, it's actually closer than we think. Number 25, Office Ghost. Are you working shoulder to shoulder with ghosts? YouTuber Graham Lee is, and this time they caught the spirit in the act. Watch the left-hand corner of the screen. Ooh. You see that there? The box is sitting flat on the shelf before it slides forward and then leaps to the ground. See the uploader writes that there was no way anything could have pushed it off. To be honest, it's hard to tell from this angle if that's the case. You see that there? Something may have fallen behind it, propelling it forward, or perhaps it was somehow unstable on the shelf to begin with. So before I conclude, this was the act of a phantom co-worker. I'm going to need to see more footage. Number 24, Powerful Poltergeist. This century-old home has YouTuber Llama Paranormal on their toes. Paranormal activity has increased daily, and this is one of their craziest captures yet. He starts recording after hearing something. Every single night, I know. Just weird things, but I only cut to minor stuff. What the f man? Oh my f <laughs> Although the door alarms him, I find the aggressive shaking of the curtains at the start of the video even more unnerving. But then as he gets up to check it out, things get creepier. It all turns sideways, and then this happens. Oh, oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? What the fuck? After all that, watch the gray item on the white table to the right. Oh my f mate. If I were Llama, I wouldn't be headed upstairs. I would be out of that house, and then I'd suggest burning it to the ground. Number 23, Haunted House. Why won't the ghost of this house cross over? YouTuber Eugene from Dark Mystic is here to find out. One of his steady cams first observes the presence of something here. Soon, Eugene hears it himself. Another steady cam captures mysterious noises in another room, and it appears that something is moving.
Later, that something falls to the floor. In that same room, a shadow shifts across the back hallway. Eugene is then given orders by the resident ghost. <laughs> Eugene doesn't seem to be taking the spirit seriously, but I wouldn't be able to keep quiet either. I definitely scream. Number 22, Diablo's Desert. After hearing rumors about satanic rituals being performed at the domes of the Casa Grande, YouTube team Twin Paranormal head into Diablo's Desert. While standing there on the cursed land, they hear footsteps. What was that? You didn't hear that? That's literally right there. It was like walking or a step or something being thrown. It's kind of hard to tell when you're in here. Then they hear a scraping sound. Please? There it is again. We hear you. One of the team's REM pods goes off, followed closely by another metallic scraping sound. Whoa! That's a full grab. Whoa. Whoa, battery dead. This is brand new, guys. That's probably what was going on, dude. There's no source of, like, electricity or energy. But then again, there is a giant power junction right over there. More noise is heard, and it feels like someone is standing just out of sight in the darkness. Point that way. Point that way. What is that? Show yourself. They hear voices and then get a reading on their K2 meter. Did you guys just hear that voice? Dude, someone's out there. What do people come here to do? Do they come here to summon things? Can you give me a sign if that's correct? After hearing another distinct noise, Wyatt blacks out momentarily. I just got the gnarliest light. Dude, dude, bro. Did you hear that? Someone just walked right up to that. I just got so dizzy, so lightheaded. Oh, that was weird. Like Clapping in the domes is followed by a series of unexplained events. Can you give us a sign that you're still here? Physically. What? No. Did you just clap? After seeing the crazy amount of activity in this former ritual site, I am positive that evil resides here. Whether human or ancient curse, though, I'm not so sure. Number 21. Unknown monster. What is this monster? Demon? Werewolf? Zombie? This YouTube team is on the hunt to find out, but in the process, they become the hunted. The monster jumps out at them from the wilderness. <laughs> They flee, but one of the team is soon grabbed. They somehow manage to get away again, but not for long. After battling with the monster, they flee once more. That's when they come across this ritual site. Opa. Oh. They examine the pentagram. But as they do, one of the crew is nearly pulled backward through a window, and moments later, the animal skull is on fire. As the skull blazes, a horned monster returns.
It's not clear if this is the same monster they encountered before, but it seems to me they are surrounded by a team of rogue mutants. Well, this is obviously CGI work. I'm still afraid that these creatures are going to haunt my dreams. Number 20, Witch Girl. Don't let Randonautica take you to just any random place, or you might live to regret it. This video is a prime example of why. All right, going Randonautica. And it took us to this shady park in the middle of nowhere, so let's see what we find. I came across it on a Vietnamese YouTube channel. After doing some digging, I was able to track down the original source to the TikTok account, at Haley underscore AIG. Watch this next part closely. Did you see it? Something just peeked out from behind that tree, but that's not all. After the group crosses the bridge, they see the nightmare girl plain as day. I think we have to go over this bridge and our location's a little down there. What the f That would be enough to make me abandon this Randonautica mission, which the team actually considers doing. Oh, uh, what the f uh, should we keep going? But they don't, and then this happens. Why is she following us? Although we can safely assume this is expertly composed fiction, that doesn't mean my soul didn't leave my body while watching this. Number 19, breathing. This house is empty and yet, heavy breathing is heard over your shoulder. What would you do? YouTuber Sandria Mosses shares this creepy video of what she believes is an evil demon in her haunted house. <coughs> <laughs> to me, that sounds more like a rasp than heavy breathing. <laughs> the clip ends abruptly, but whatever briefly appears in the upper hall is the most terrifying part of this video to me. Watch closely. What in the world was that? Coupled with the rasping noise, I think that lightning flash was the demon itself. Number 18, Zombie Road. The Zombie Road in Missouri is purportedly haunted, and YouTube Team Soul Searching is investigating it themselves. As they start on the trail, they receive a message from the beyond. I know that's kind of weird that it said seeds because that's usually my thing. I bring seeds. It's asking for its seeds and we don't have them, it's gonna be angry. I know, because I switched from my camera bag <laughs> too. The YouTuber leaves her camera on while walking, and the audio captures this. A cannon from the Civil War. Could be. Yeah. There's Civil War ghost on this room. That really did sound like a cannon to me. Later they capture an EVP on their digital recorder. That box, that white noise. Can you tell us your name? It's trying, but the Faraday can't. Can you tell us? Can you tell us? Can you tell They believe it sounds like I am here, but I'm not sure if I hear that. However, it does sound to me like a whisper. As they continue, another unexplained noise is captured. This voice that they hear sounds rather mechanical. Could it simply be the sound of one of their devices? Well, I can't say for sure that Zombie Road is haunted based on these findings. The ghostly cannon strikes me as a true Civil War curse. Number 17, Haunted Mansion. The McIntyre Villa in Kansas is reputedly haunted, and the YouTube team from Amy's Crypt is here to spend the night. During their investigation, they hear strange noises, like this metallic tap and these footsteps. Apparently notorious. I definitely heard that as well. That was like a footstep. And when they ask for something louder, they get it. Can you make a louder noise for us, please? Ooh. Next to a creepy doll, they receive a message through the ghost tube app. That's funny. I see you. 
Um, that's cool. Are you in I, here? I just opened the curtain and it's like, I see you. The cellar serves up lots of sound. They ask the spirits a question and get a bone chilling answer. Die. Die. A steady cam captures a REM pod briefly triggered as an unexplained noise is heard. It's so cold, guys. I'm totally wearing a neck warmer right now. And still, the noises continue. You know what's weird? Well, not weird, but like. Well, there are no jump scares in this haunted mansion. There are too many noises that cannot be explained, in my opinion. My conclusion is that you couldn't pay me to spend the night here. Number 16. Sky Snake. What is this mysterious object in the sky? YouTuber Tiffany Campbell shares this footage of an object she says was falling to Earth. Is that a plane going down? What is that, James? I can't even tell you, but I don't know. Hey, Mom, can Joey see it? Joey, look through my phone. It's hard to tell what this object is. It doesn't appear to be falling very quickly, but that may just be an optical illusion. The streak trailing behind it suggests it's traveling at significant speed, but this could be a contrail from a plane. Is that a plane going down? I don't think it's a plane. What is that, James? So I, I can't even tell you, but I don't hey, Mom, know. Can Joey see is this object even falling at all? It could just appear that way due to the perspective at which it was captured. I think it could just be a plane with a contrail, but it could also be a meteorite or some other unidentified flying object falling from the sky. What do you think? Number 15. Unidentified flying object over DC. The extraterrestrials have come for the commander in chief. This video, shared by Redditor Expensive Ad 1774, was captured over Washington, DC. Three red lights appear in an overcast sky. At first, it appears they could belong to a triangular spacecraft, but the lights seem to shape shift over time. I knew it, I was gonna see something today. That's the same thing we saw across that bridge. They are here. Many in the comments say they've witnessed something similar. What could this be? I don't think this is a set of drones. Washington DC is understandably a no drone zone, but with so many in the comments encountering similar unidentified flying objects, I've gotta believe there's either some logical explanation, or we really are being monitored by extraterrestrials. Number 14. Loveland Castle While investigating the purportedly haunted Loveland Castle in Ohio, YouTube team Bump in the Night Society experiences something fascinating. Lead investigator Sean is doing a remote estate session in the throne room, while his team watches using a baby monitor. This is the message he is given. Camera. Camera. The team asks the spirits to do something. Can you, get to talk on real quick? Can you knock one of the cameras over, please? Then, shortly after this happens. Oh! oh. <gasps> no, it knocked mine. Oh. It knocked the baby monitor. Oh my gosh. Got that on camera. Back up. Dude. All right? You good? Here it is again from inside the room. Was it just an unstable monitor, or did the spirits answer their request? Personally, I think the spirits were listening. This is too much of a coincidence to be anything but the paranormal. Number 12. Alone with the doll. This doll is reputed to make you crazy, and Dima is spending three days alone with it. Let's see what happens. 
First, Dima introduces viewers to the doll. Как мне сказали, чтобы освободить ее, надо, соответственно, разбить стекло. It doesn't take long for things to unravel. At around 3 a.m., this happens. That sounded like a footstep. For some reason, Dima decides to visit the doll, and he soon regrets it. Stop. Stop. <gasps> I mean, wouldn't you? Так, мать, давай-ка ты. Those eyes look real, are they? Soon Dima loses his pulse. Что происходит? Что происходит, блять? Блять, что, блять, что происходит? Что случилось? Почему у меня пульс ноль? Okay, that was just an accident, but is this? Что это такое? What are these unexplained noises? And this one? As the doll is taken over Dima's bed, its presence moves things in his room. Later, he discovers the doll's little shoe on the floor. Ребята, это же how did it end up there? Has she been wandering around while he sleeps? One of the security cameras then moves on its own. Was it just positioned poorly? Or is this the possessed doll's work as well? I think it probably is the Maleficent spirit at play. This doll is 100% possessed, and in my opinion, its demon is now on the loose in Dima's house. He shouldn't have ever let her in. Number 11, ghost in the old house. The ghost in this old house is leaving nothing to the imagination. YouTuber Dennis from Dark Life captures the ghostly mist out of the corner of his eye. Watch the top left closely. Using a spirit box, Dennis receives some creepy messages from a spirit here named Paul. Later, Dennis feels Paul's presence all around him. Pavel, ты еще здесь? What was that? It sounded to me like terminal respiratory secretions. If it is, Dennis had better hope that it doesn't catch up to him. Number 10, Social Hall Poltergeist. While investigating the Englefield Green Social Hall, YouTube team Southern Ghost Society captures some clear poltergeist activity. Listen closely for the EVP. I'm not sure what that sound was, but another camera manages to capture it from a different angle. Oi. This table just went. Holy no. 
It sounds to me like a door creaks and then something bangs loudly nearby. We can't see anything in the darkness, so I'd be curious to find out if anything was moved once the lights were turned back on. Regardless, this does seem to me to be paranormal. Number 9. Painting Moves This ghost is an art thief. Jeff believes he's captured poltergeist activity on camera. I'll let him explain. You might say poltergeist activity. We've been having a lot of problems here at the house. Uh, things moving. I've had a kitchen table dragged from my dining room into my kitchen. Uh, never can get it on camera. Well, I finally got... The proof is in the details. Watch the painting to the left carefully. And there it goes. Nothing near it. Nobody. I was in the back room, actually on the phone with my wife at the time. And, uh, yeah, you'll see that an orb go through there. The painting falls slightly after hanging in this spot unmoved for a decade. While I'd like to see additional footage of the poltergeist activity in this home, this is certainly a convincing start. Number 8. Candlelight Shared by Redditor Alarmdad5309, this video looks ominous when you click on it, but you have to watch closely to see why. Did you see it? Watch again. This time, keep an eye on the shelf with the mirrors. A candle suddenly lights up and it stays lit through the remainder of the minute-long video. Is this proof of a spiritual presence? Some of the comments think so. Some think the cat is a fire starter, but I think it sees something that we cannot. Number 7. Haunted Tunnel Something still haunts this tunnel, and Franco from the YouTube channel Franco TV is delving deep into the belly of the beast. He sees signs that he's not the first one here. It won't be like this for too long. There's even a handprint up there. But it won't be like this for too long. I'm pretty sure it's going to get quiet. In the tunnel, he hears something off-putting. He just heard something there, which caught me off guard. He asks the spirits a question, and they answer via the K2 meter. Si tú estás aquí conmigo, tú puedes hacerlo otra vez. It's going. See. When Franco turns off the lights, the spirits turn them on again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights, so it's gonna be really hard to see anything. Okay? Yo voy a apagar todas las luces. As Franco leaves the tunnel, he comes across a makeshift memorial, which seems to indicate that a number of people passed away in this very place. It is actually ridiculously scary. Especially this part here. It looks like several people died over here. Did Franco just communicate with one of them? I have no doubt, and hopefully that communication helped them reach the other side. Number 6. Ghost Girl After hearing a sound during the night, YouTuber Jojo Lobster checked their backyard security camera in the morning. This is what they captured. Watch the back right. A figure walks past. Jojo Lobster labels it a girl, but I'm not sure if we can make that assumption. The image is too blurry to identify the figure. I don't know if we can say for certain if it's a ghost or not. Well, there are plenty of questions with this one. I would say there's something there for sure, but a spirit or alive? We'll never know. Number 5. Doll Room Despite its name, the doll room in the historic Jefferson Hotel is a sinister place, and this video shared by the hotel's YouTube channel confirms this. Listen closely. Add some more uh, dolls to our doll room. That particular doll is over 100 years old. 
As you can see, the manager hears a noise down the hallway, and as soon as he turns to look, one of the dolls falls down in the room. Listen again. He enters to see what happens. Another little video tour that I do when we add some more items to the rooms or whatever. So we added some more dolls to this room, which is our dolls and stuff room. And as I walked in the room, I heard a noise going down the hall right there. He replaces the doll, but it doesn't get any less creepy. To me, it looks like it's watching him. Number four, stalked. This stalker is leaving works of art for his victim. It all starts when Jody from YouTube channel Hunting the Dead is sent on a randonautica with a heavy intention. When you're using an intention like a place where death is unfound, that's a heavy intention, my guy. My girl, my girls and my guys. As he continues in the forest, he feels something unusual. What the f was that? Felt like something took a bite at my leg. Jody then comes across this secret message. Mother. Okay. All right, maybe she was right. While making his way through the woods, he hears a strange growling sound. There's something on. Babe, did you say something? She can't even fucking hear me. This is crazy. Continuing on, he finds this eerie message attached to a tree. Oh, he's going poster size now, huh? Yeah, well, we know who does this. Arrow's pointing to the number like it's limit a limited edition f***ing stalker run. Shortly after, he comes across another one. It's like a fishing hook, and he's catching people. And it looks like this thing has hepatitis. And... And then a third in the series. What are these like all the people that follow the cult? <laughs> At last, he faces off with the artist himself. Right. Not. <laughs> Mother. What do these drawings mean? And why does the anonymous stalker want Jody to have them? If I were Jody, I'd be trying to decipher these artworks ASAP because I'm sure there's something ominous in their messaging. Number three, extreme poltergeist. This London poltergeist is extremely aggressive. Captured at around four in the morning, YouTube channel The London Paranormal One shares this unbelievable footage. First, you just hear unexplained sounds off screen. But then, it begins. And if that wasn't enough, this happens. The poltergeist sure likes making a mess, either that or one of the fridge magnets is possessed, as YouTuber Flabzapple suggests. But that leads to a bigger question, which one? Number two, documenting a haunting. This resident is documenting their haunting, and it's about to get very real. Shared by YouTuber The Real Texas Ghost Hunters, this video's original source's YouTube channel, Sabia L. The resident starts singing to themselves to remain calm, but it doesn't help matters. Okay. 
The object continues to move but eventually slows to a stop. After calming down, the sound starts up again. The poltergeist moves from the bedroom to the kitchen. There's nothing there that we can see at least. I don't know if this is real or not, but it absolutely terrifies me to my very core. I feel like we all need to check under our beds now. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Mausoleum YouTuber Johnny Paranormal 74 writes that they caught this on Alonzo's live earlier this evening. The live stream was captured in an empty mausoleum in Mexico. Let's take a look. When he looks inside, you can see there's nobody there. Do you see what I see? If not, you're about to hear it. Dime, estás aquí. Did you hear that? I'm sure you did. Because as I see it, this is one of the most scary videos you'll ever see. Are you in the mood for a melancholy lullaby? Then you're in luck because these 30 scary videos will haunt your dreams.